In the fizz biz, Randy Miller's no soda jerk. His soft drink empire bubbles up over $100 million a year in sales. The high-tech exec doesn't belong to the pinstripe boardroom brigade either. He took a walk on the wild side and caught a tiger by the tail. Don't be fooled by the pet Bengal tiger, blue jeans, and razzle-dazzle ad campaigns. Though the president and co-owner of original New York Seltzer lives a lifestyle that many rich rockers score songs about, Randy is a hard-nosed businessman. Alongside his father, Alan, he ranks behind the two cola giants. They're the barons of the beverage brouhaha. The business is where that challenge lies. It's not how much more I can spend. It's not the better car I can buy. It's keeping New York Seltzer number one. We've had opportunities to sell the business in the past, and my big question was, then what do I do? You know, go play? Well, I can play on the weekends. Alan swears he only formed the company to keep the wild teenager away from motorcycles. It certainly didn't work, and Randy's offbeat style still shakes up pop a little. Randy likes the, the excitement and he loves the end, the big animals and the strong animals. He loves that stuff and, and it does scare me. It's a worry all the time, but there, there really isn't anything I can do. He's 24 years old and he's, he has his own life to live. I'm your typical success, young, successful businessman that still, uh, still is very young at heart and uh, you know likes to, likes to play a little. No pussycat when it comes to thrills. Randy revs up the fast lane with a nitro-guzzling rubber-burning dragster bearing the company logo. They're very fast. I mean, these cars are capable of doing five, six-second quarter miles. They get up to 240 miles an hour. They're fast. But don't think it's always foot to the floor. As one of the folks who live on the hill, Randy's high-tech home comes complete with state-of-the-art gymnasium and iron-pumping pal. It's hard to get in there, you know, it's really tough. But once you're there, you know, and you start working out, you feel better. You know, you, you release a lot of that tension. My girlfriend, she helps too. Randy's big pussy cats enjoy an equally charmed life. Free to roam the sprawling home, they even have their own temperature-controlled atrium. Its centerpiece is an artificial tree that he paid $25,000 for. Does Randy spoil his pets? It's a spot where the cats would be comfortable, where I could work them any time of the day, any time of the night. But it's important to spend more time with these kind of cats because they're big, they're aggressive. You know, you have to spend time with them for them to respect you. Like many young men who have it all, Randy gets an extra charge out of putting his multi-million dollar neck on the line. Forget tigers and dragsters, they're kid stuff. Forget the water slide he's building from his deck to the bottom of the hill. Even that's harmless compared to his greatest thrill. You see, Randy likes to watch his own commercials on his big screen. One commercial in particular. It's the one where he climbed to the ninth floor of Hollywood's Mondrian Hotel, clutching a bottle of black cherry soda. And well, See for yourself. Randy Miller. He'll do just about anything to convince you his soda is the drink you'll fall for. Now available everywhere. Salsa, now available everywhere.